Okay, well, welcome to Passerby. And this is another game by, I think it's Niven Hedinger. I'm never sure <laughs> exactly how to pronounce that name. I'm sorry. Um, but it's also under Apish Games. And uh, just a bit ago, I played Perfect Spot by them. And that was a really great experience. So Passerby is one of their newer ones. And I've been looking at it for a long time. It looks like some kind of post-apocalyptic survival thing. And yeah, I decided to finally give it a try. So let's just get going and read that itch synopsis. It says, Passerby is a short, confined story of a lone traveler, Nathan, who ventures across the abandoned city. The story unfolds throughout the gameplay. You simply have to complete tasks and survive. Okay, I think I can do that. I think I'm experienced at these kinds of games at the moment to accomplish that. Let me just bring up our volume really quick. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Creepy, very alien-like sounding. And again, we can already see an interesting choice of colors here. Uh, my name is Nathan. I'm a loner, wandering through a desolate and shattered world. For me, it was always a dark, unforgiving wasteland. Difference is that now it is overrun by infected monsters. Nobody knows exactly what happened. After the fallout, people started forming factions, different groups to survive. I always felt like an outsider, and now I became a passerby. I know that my fate hangs in the balance and that it could be severed at any moment by the horrors that lurk in the darkness. Ooh, it's kind of like has some fallout vibes, kind of um, some creepiness, though. Hmm, some sadness, too. Wazda for movement. I do have a sprint. Yet another deserted town. Hope I can find something useful around here. Hmm. Find shelter. Okay, nice. We have a objective indicator up there. I like that. Oh, wow. Again, uh, Niven. I hope it's Niven. Awesome choice with colors again. I kind of commented that uh, about that on the last one. But this, uh, the greens, they're really cool looking here. Especially combined with kind of the rust and the post-apocalyptic look. So, yeah, and these flowers look really cool. But yeah, very nice. I always like it when people can take PSX stuff and just make it look like a painting. So that's really, really nice. Okay, well, what are we doing? All right, let's think. Um, we have to find shelter. Oh, I can sprint, yes. Uh, where would I live? What is this? A stick? This is not going to help me. The grocery store. Well, they said that there's like horrible mutants kind of walking around out here. Uh, like you would think the grocery store would be the first place everyone tries to get into. Ooh, it's all stinky in here. You can see like the stink bubbles. It's a little, a little, little Minecrafty, a little bit, because you know those funny bubbles that pop up when you eat the rotted flesh. Ooh, groceries. Is there anything for me to eat in here? No, everything's thoroughly abandoned and in disrepair. Find shelter. Well, what what qualifies as shelter here? I mean, this has a door. Um, I guess this isn't it, though. I mean, it let, let me know. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, that was scary. Mm, I think there was another place down the road. We'll try that. The police station does not look accessible. I wonder if escape does anything. I'm always hesitant to press escape in games because in half the games it just like 
you know, ends it. What does that say? Jack's gas. Let's go check Jack's gas. I thought that's a jackass. Jackass gas. Uh, the key is on the shelf. Open the locked door of the building by the road. Stay inside. Wait for the night to pass and then do whatever you want. Wait, the key is on the shelf. Open the locked door of the building. What building? Oh, by the road. Stay inside. Wait for the night to pass and then do whatever you want. Do not go outside at night. If you are reading this, that means I'm already gone, but you still have a chance to survive. Good luck to all. Ooh, okay. So, they said, I just want to make sure. The locked door of the building by the road. Okay, keys. The locked door of the building by the road. The building by the road. So here's the road. It's another log in there, maybe. Uh, the building by the road. Maybe we haven't find it or found it yet. There are roads everywhere. What is that down there? I saw a bunch of bunch of weird things. Did did I unlock it? Or maybe I didn't use the key? Mm-mm. Oh, there's a computer. Here's some stuff. Uh hello. Anyone hanging out in here with me? Uh-uh. Bunch of trash. Oh, oh, oh my god. Cool. So cool. I thought that was Super Street Fighter 2. Is that Super Street Fighter 2? I don't know. But they have a lot of them. They have all of them. All the Street Fighters. Looks cozy. I should look for supplies. Usually I find stuff in the trash. Search trash bins. Okay. I saw a bunch of weird logs in all the trashes. Oh my god. What the hell? What is that? What am I looking at? I thought that red thing was like down lower. You know? <laughs> Uh, and that that was absolutely frightening but no it looks like this person is impaled by a pipe and the pipe is bloody so I thought that this was they're like zombie mutants but why would the zombie mutants do this to him unless this is a zombie mutant that someone has impaled um, let's go collect trash let's stop thinking about that and go collect trash what is this it definitely reminds me a little bit of Minecraft. Just because, I don't know, it's like a cube. Okay. Well, I dig this place. We have six street, Super Street Fighter 2 arcade cabinets, all original, to play with. We can, you know, fix them, interchange the parts. And then play Super Street Fighter 2. For all of eternity. Uh, ooh, a big smokestack thing. Uh, I have a feeling I can't get into the tops of these. Search the trash bins. These these are shipping containers, not trash bins. And these are big empty barrel things. Let's see here. Oh, hi. Oh, sorry. Aria, I, did, I didn't see you there. I didn't clear my chat from yesterday, so there's <laughs> still your old messages in there. I barely saw that. How are you doing today, Aria? Did you play any Apex? Where the hell, where the hell did I get in here? Let's see. Always good to see you. What is it? Thursday today? Hopefully your Thursday is going well. 
Uh, I'm in some post-apocalyptic... I think it's a horror game. Um, and so I'm trying to gather things for survival reasons. What is that? Why can I move this? I don't understand. What? <gasps> I can rotate it? Oh, no apex today. Hang on one sec. I'm doing good. I'm just trying to figure this game out though. Because I'm supposed to search trash bins. And I found this weird beef jerky looking thing. But... Oh, what 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 is that? It's getting smaller. I'm just clicking on it. It's becoming smaller. I found rubber tubing. Empty food containers are nothing else useful. Okay, I think I was collecting it. That's what was going on there. I think I was confused because it was like moving around and stuff. Yeah, this game is called Passerby. And I think it's kind of an atmospheric game. Here's another... Yeah, you just click on it to... To collect it? Torn clothing, scraps, and dented cooking pots can be used, I guess. Okay. Well, there's another trash bin down. Uh, there's got to be another bin around here. Yep. Here we go, here we go. Wood scraps. I guess this town was empty before the fallout. <laughs> it's interesting. It's like I'm compacting them. I am tired and it's getting dark. I should go back to the shelter and sleep in bed. Rest in shelter. All right, let's go home. What is this? Oh, it's a stop sign. No, it's a road sign. All right, so this is our home, and it's a big, I don't know, big apartment building thing. Yeah, let's shut that for sure. We don't want anything coming in after us at night. Um, I've got a computer downstairs that doesn't work, a radiator. Might as well check everything here. Uh, what else is here? An old TV, piles of trash. A bunch of arcade cabinets. And then for some reason there's a guy up here who has been impaled on this this pole. I could do without that, but you know. At least I can lock the door on this place. Okay. Sleep in time. Yeah, very nice, right? Really brings the place together. Someone is at the door. Who could be at this time? I should be careful. Yeah, let's let's be real careful. Uh, I wonder if I can see them from up here. Oh, well, there's a bunch of uh mutant zombies out. It's probably not. A good idea for me to answer the door. That guy's still where I left him? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go check the door. Check the door, not open it. I don't want to open it. Oh. Uh oh. I think I almost got stuck in the door. Oh my god. Uh, blood. Looks like someone is hurt. I should be careful following this blood trail. You think? There's also mutant zombies out everywhere. Hmm. Uh oh. 
Please help. I was in the I was with the group and got lost. I had a walkie-talkie with me and dropped it near the uh, near the police station. Please find it. Okay. Find the walkie-talkie. I remember where the police station was. It's kind of back this way. But there are zombies, so and I haven't really dealt with these guys yet. We'll see. Maybe I should take the back road. Uh oh. Never mind. Maybe we'll have better luck going this way. Yeah, let's go wide. Just go through the cars. At least I don't have like a stamina bar. I can like run as fast as I want for as long as I want. And that's faster than these zombies. So maybe we'll go the back way here. Oh, sh okay. This should be the police station that I'm right on. Police station. Uh. He said he dropped down the road near the police station? I should have remembered exactly what he said. Where is it? Where is it? How slow are these people? I should test them. Maybe like around the police. Maybe it's around back. Uh, hmm. Uh, there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll let him walk away for a second before I try to grab that. Gotcha. Well, they're not too aggressive. I think we'll be okay. Okay. Gonna make my way. I'm glad they don't like lunge at you. That would freak me out. Let's just keep going and follow the blood. Sir, I retrieved your walkie talkie. I think oh, okay. It's it's doing stuff. Thanks for helping me and dragging me out here. It is very cozy and safe. Hey, don't mention it. Yeah, no problem. Um, I hope you did not get infected. Looks like you lost a lot of blood. Yeah, that could be like a bad idea to invite somebody in that's infected. And this guy hasn't seen the corpse hanging on the wall yet. He thinks this place is cozy. No, no, this is not mine. I actually met someone on the way here, and they were pretty aggressive. You know, we have to survive no matter what, and we got into a fight. They lost. Meanwhile, it got dark. Hmm. Like I said, I'm with a group of people, and we share a certain ideology around here. Really? Wait, wait. Why were they aggressive, and what happened to them? We had a disagreement about my offer. I did rush some things because it was getting dark, and... I proposed to them to join my group and they refused, saying that I was insane or some shit. This is a weird story. Maybe they did not want to be a part of the group and they were a passerby like me, but... What exactly did you tell them? People around here do not get aggressive for no solid reason. I personally find it hilarious, but my group likes to hunt. We gather supplies and mostly survive on meat. Oh. I wonder what kind of meat this person is talking about. Hmm. Meat? Where do you get meat at this time? We all know that the infected are spreading more and more. The air is polluted and there is no way. Wait. Do you hunt infected monsters and eat them? Oh, come on, Nathan. Read the room. 
No way. You think we are savages? Not at all. We hunt for fresh meat every single day. I thought you would be smarter than this. Come on. We are cannibals. Uh, listen, relax, okay? We already got out. We already got our share for today, and I guess you are the lucky one. Uh, I think it's time for him to go. Right? Okay, good. Get the fuck out. I have a gun in my bag, and I swear I will shoot you. Whoa, whoa, relax. I'm not going to hurt you. If you want, you can join my group. If not, I can leave. I really don't believe he's just going to leave. Or if he does leave, he's just going to come back with his friends and come eat me. I will not join your mind-fucked group. Get the hell out, asshole. I am warning you. Gosh, Nathan. All right, all right. I am going. Sorry if I made things uncomfortable, all right? I'll just stand up and leave. Uh-oh. But I have to say that my group is already here, and I wish we had more time to discuss this. Uh-oh. Hmm... No! Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. Yep. He knifed me. Wow. Okay. Cool. Well, that wasn't that long. That was only twenty minutes. Um. Hang on. I'm afraid to hit escape because it might just boot me out of the game completely. Hang on, let me just blank that for one second while I see if it takes us back to the... No, it doesn't. But I will just bring up the splash screen again here really quick. All right. Well, that was Passerby by Niven Hedinger or Apish Games. And another one that was pretty cool. It was pretty short, but also nice little kind of slice of life um, view here of an alternate reality. Um, uh, there were mutants out at night, so I'm guessing that there's some kind of like, I don't know, some kind of radioactive uh, post-apocalyptic nuclear war thing that happened maybe. And I think the setting was really cool. The the buildings and all of the trash and all the flowers mixed in with some of the green stuff. That was a really cool setting. Um, when the zombies popped out, uh, they had a pretty cool design. I'm glad they didn't like jump all over me and stuff like that and chase me around. Um, I think the only thing I wanted from this game was more. <laughs> I wanted more of it because it was, it had such a really good setup. And, um, yeah, I did like the little exchange with the guy and everything like that. And I wasn't expecting to be knifed. I was actually expecting to be eaten alive eventually by his friends. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I think there's a couple of things that could have been done um, uh, to drag the gameplay out even more and everything like that. So uh, I really like this premise. I really like the idea. And yeah, that's that's all I can say about it is like I wish there was more because I was I was way into it actually so another really cool game cool idea and I'd be really happy to see like a second one of these or like one that's just um, much longer because I think there is a pretty cool story brewing there with um, I like how the the word passerby was being worked in there a lot and it kind of had this very subdued feeling like you know this is a very post-apocalyptic thing um but nathan was very kind of uh what yeah subdued and like kind of passive and just wandering through and i think that's a really cool setup for a story especially in post-apocalyptic settings because yeah like you have different groups that all stick together and they're very aggressive and stuff like that but then there's someone like nathan who is kind of like a lone wolf person who is just passing through and kind of living off whatever they can find and i think that's definitely fertile ground for tons of different stories and this is one of them so 
yeah really cool i think that you could definitely add more to this just do another one <laughs> and make it a bit longer because i all the um I, I write like fiction and stuff like that all the time so all my little alarm bells are going off like i want to know about you know the uh, the apocalypse that happened i want to know more about the cannibal group that he encountered uh, I want to know more about Nathan's kind of um, turbulent past that caused him to become a passerby, right? And yeah, nothing but praise for this snippet, this little vignette of a game, because I think it's showing something that could be something that's super cool and probably super scary too if you keep up and pushing the um, the zombies and also cannibals that are running around throughout the wasteland and stuff like that. So again really awesome and uh again awesome job with the color palette i like how you're using different color palettes for all your different games it makes for a really good um Im memorable impression and yeah because i think green is a great color for post-apocalyptic stuff <laughs> so you nailed it so great job on this one again i'll be checking out more from you in the future and yeah and oh also aria thanks for stopping by as usual uh, this one was really short so if you'll be up i'll probably jump back on with another game here in probably like just a few minutes if i can find one i'll find one but yeah as usual thanks for jumping in the chat and yeah if you watch this video all the way to the end thanks so much for your support like and follow um if you want you don't have to but if you want it, it, that really makes me happy and it really helps me out and all right yeah Arya. i'll see you in a bit if you're on but yeah um, thanks for hanging out for this one, and I'll see you later. All right, bye.